Hey everybody, long time no see. We are talking today about updates for DJI Spark and a little bit about updates for the DJI Mavic Pro. I apologize for being a little late and getting this video out to you guys. I've been a busy boy, have uh, family in town for the holidays. I was down sick for a week, so this video is a bit later than I was hoping for. In the meantime, since my last video I put out, DJI has put out a few updates. Uh, they've released two firmware updates, the .0800 version, as well as the .0900 version, and they've also put out, at least for you iOS guys, they've put out a new version of DJI GO 4. So we're, those are the topics we're talking about here today. Uh, so let's get started on those. So first off, let's talk about DJI GO 4. So DJI GO 4, uh, they have released version 4.1.20. Now this is a uh, version that so far, as far as I'm aware, as of recording this video, I think it's only been released for iOS. I don't think it's been released for uh, Android yet. I just double checked in the Google Play Store and I still see 4.1.18 there. So I'm sure it's coming pretty quick for you guys. Now DJI GO 4, 4.1.20, in the release notes anyways, they only mention the Mavic Pro. They don't mention anything about the DJI Spark. So they say they've added an export feature, which allows DJI Goggles RE to view panoramas. You must have DJI Go 4.1.20 or above and firmware 1.4.0200 or above. So that is, again, specific to the DJI Mavic Pro. They also say that they have optimized the panorama capturing. Now, for you guys with the Mavic Pro, you know that panoramas are actually a pretty new feature uh, for you guys. And so, sounds like they're just uh, doing a little bit of optimization there. So they don't say anything specific about the DJI Spark in DJI Go 4.1.20. I'm sure, as you and I both know, there, I'm sure there's probably some changes in there, but um, uh, the, the, they don't have any notes in regards to the release notes for the DJI Spark. Now, there are some concerns over the recent versions of DJI GO 4 for you guys using the OTG cable. So, I'm not sure, I forget which version it was. It might have been 4.1.18 or 4.1.16 or 17, somewhere in there. Uh, they actually released... Uh, updates to DJI GO 4 and it actually went backwards for the OTG cable. So for some of you guys, uh, you no longer see satellites, you no longer see distances at the bottom. Uh, for uh, iOS, it was implementing distance limits. Um, so those are things to watch out for. So be careful if you're an OTG user. I know there's a lot of people out there, especially you guys in Europe who don't have the FCC regulations that we have here in the US. Uh, I know you guys are, are much more prevalent users of the OTG cable. So that's something to watch out for if you're looking to upgrade um, and continue using your OTG cable. So watch out for that for the more recent versions. Now let's go to firmware updates. So firmware updates, uh, the DJI Spark, we have the 0800, so V01.00.0800. Now that one was released on the 13th of December. So that, uh, they say, goes along with DJI Go 4 app on the iOS and Android version 1.2.22, which of course has not been released. They just barely released .20. So even though we're 10 days down the road after that, they haven't released the version of, I, of uh, the Go 4 app that they say goes with that firmware. So we've seen this in the past. I know some of you guys get uh, pretty upset about it. I put a little bit of a rant together a while back. You know what? I think it's just something we have to get used to. Uh, they're going to put out versions, the, the firmware and the, the, the Go 4 app versions are never really going to be in sync and it's something I think we just really have to get used to. 0800's uh, version of the firmware for the Spark they really only added a couple of things. So they say they've added support for the DJI Goggles RE. And they say that they've improved the firmware updating stability. Now I think that they actually had included that in the 0700 version, 0701 specifically. 
they say they improved firmware updating stability. So hopefully that's something that they're continuing to improve as well because it's in the release notes here as well. For the 0800, if you choose to go to the 0800 version, it tells you you have to restart the aircraft and the remote controller when the update is complete. And of course, in the same note that they add in every single update, if the update fails, restart the aircraft, the remote controller, DJ Go 4 or DJI Assistant 2, then try updating again. Uh, I personally, uh, because I was sick when this came out and I didn't get around to flying, uh, I have not had a chance to play around with the 0800 firmware. So I never upgraded my, uh, my Spark to the 0800. I have just gone specifically to the 0900 version, which was just released on the 21st of December 2017. So that's about two days ago as of the recording of this video. Again, they say that the uh, firmware is V01.00.0900. Uh, the remote control firmware is still 0400, so they haven't updated that anytime recently. Uh, they say, again, it goes with uh, uh, Go4 V4.1.22, which again has not been released yet. And they only list one thing that's new. They say they've optimized the battery management to improve stability. Now they don't give details on exactly what that is, but I'm assuming that in their uh, support of users where they found problems and so on, my guess is that they found some, some uh, problems in, in however the, the, the battery management is working. Now they don't, it's interesting because in the past when they've made updates to the battery, they've included a note telling you that you need to go through and uh, update each of your batteries. Now, in this release notes, they don't say that, but that is in fact the case. And I'll actually show you a video here. Uh, I did the update to the 0900 firmware on my Spark via my phone. Okay, you can do it two different ways. You can do it either connecting your Spark to your computer and uh, via USB cable and using the DJI Assistant 2 software, and you can update that way, or you can update directly through the DJI Go 4 app, which is what I happen to do. Uh, I've got a video playing right here that kind of shows some of that. Uh, really, it's, uh, you know, for, for me, it uh, went really smoothly. So hopefully, uh, you know, those firmware update, uh, 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 that they've made to in version 0800 no 700 0701 I should say uh, hopefully that uh, has improved the stability of the update now again I'll just say some people out there I've read in forums and so on complaining about OT OTG support in recent versions and uh, um, I don't have uh, experience with that. I don't use the OTG cable. I'm here in the US, so I have FCC regulations. My Wi-Fi capabilities are, are pretty good here, and I've not had any problems um, that uh, some people have had. Uh, I've been pretty lucky so far. Things have, uh, have went pretty smoothly for me. So I am running the 0900 now. Uh, I've just played around with it just a little bit. Uh, you probably can't see behind me, but uh, it is uh, kind of rainy outside and gloomy and, and so on uh, here at home. And so I've not really had a chance to get out and play around with it a whole lot, just a few minutes of, of flight. Um, but uh, I know some a lot of people have, have been having success with it. Uh, of course, you've got a small number of people um, who have run into problems with it just like every version. So my advice is, is probably the same as usual. If you're risk averse, maybe you wanna wait around a while and uh, uh, check forums and read what problems other people have been having. Uh, if you're like me and you're in this just for the hobby and the fun of it and playing around and experimenting with, with new things, then you know what, jump on it. Uh, I, I personally think that DJI is trying to, to create the, uh, the best product they can for us. And I think that's why they released this battery management update uh, just like eight days after they had released a previous firmware update. Uh, their history with, at least with the Spark, generally has been about one firmware update a month. And in this case, they did two within eight days. So my feeling is that there's probably something there that they're trying to fix to, to keep problems from happening. 
Uh, the last uh, uh, firmware update for the DJI Mavic Pro was back in November, November 23rd. That was where they added the panorama updates uh, and uh, GeoZone management and some battery uh, firmware updates. Uh, um, and then they improve some flight performance when using uh, propeller guards. So that was the uh, View 01.04.0100 version of the firmware. But that's uh, been uh, basically a month ago today that they made that update. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, sometime here shortly uh, we see another update for the Mavic Pro. So those are the updates we have here for December for the DJI GO software for the DJI Spark. DJI Mavic Pro. We have more videos coming up here shortly. I still have some family in town, so they're going to be a little bit harder to find uh, time to record, but they will come much quicker than they have the last two or three weeks. Hopefully I don't get sick again and go down, and uh, we will be good to go. So uh, if you guys enjoy the material I'm putting out, I'd love to see you to, uh, subscribe to the channel below. Leave me comments. What, what's your experience with these updates? Are you having problems with any of these updates? Are you having success? Things moving in the right direction or are things going the wrong way from DJ? I'd like to hear your guys' opinion on those things and uh, hope to catch you on another video. Uh, if you want to support this channel, there are uh, affiliate links down below. You can buy stuff from Amazon, from uh, DJI. I get a little bit of a credit. It helps me uh, to make more of these videos, helps me to improve the quality of these videos by buying additional equipment. And uh, I really appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I hope everybody has a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, if that's what you celebrate. Have a happy new year, and uh, hope to see you here very, very shortly again on another video. Take care.